<laughs> so this is the the rubbish that killed people. So all this place there was nothing like rubbish. Ima imagine all that pile covering you. It's a very very sad story. So they said the people that died here, majority of them were those who were working inside there. So some of most of them were recycling this. They used to collect plastics like this. Some of them used to collect papers like this. They used to take them for recycling. Some of them get metal scraps. And then some of them get uh, were working here cooking food, especially the women cooking food. And then some of them were residents around here. So when the rubbish came, it covered all of them. Those who were working up on the other pile, some of them took them right from that side and then came and threw them as far as the other side. All those people lost their lives untimely. It's a very, 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 very sad story. The place covers a huge place. So all these places have not been excavated. Let me show you. They have just, you can see just that small portion has been excavated. And uh, all those places, just that small space has been excavated. Some people are saying 40 dead bodies, some people are saying 20. Yesterday, 28. Eh? 24. Some are saying yesterday, 24. Today, today, today they are now five. By the time we came, there were four. They are now five on just that small space. Now imagine all this area. All this area. Imagine all this area has not yet been excavated. And there was also a biogas factory. Imagine how many people were working on that factory. It be the company my biogas. A biogas factory. How many people were working on that factory? Rubbish covered all of them and they all died. Just look at all those areas. None of them has been excavated. According to the locals, they say only a quarter of of people suspected to to have been covered by the rubbish have been found and that is around some people are saying 28 uh, 29 some people are saying 40 something we are not so sure but all in all is a very very sad story very 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 sad too sad people have lost their lives untimely I could even be standing here on top of a dead body, but I can't know. It's a very, very sad one. Very sad. Very, 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 very sad. We don't know. We don't know, we don't know. But uh, according to the locals here, that there was a government program to create a road. Uh, you see... You see somewhere, uh, I don't know whether you can see. You see around there, I don't know that you can see graders. There I'm using, somewhere there, there were, okay, let me show you like this. There was, um, there was a government program to create there a road. They wanted to level there and create a road. Now they came in with the idea in a wrong season. It is rainy season. So when they were trying to level the place, I think the 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 ground became loose since the it, the the whole thing was in the middle. The ground became loose, and then the rubbish pit uh, uh, slided and then covered all this place. I don't know whether it's a government to be blamed. I don't know. I just can't tell. Or it's the engineers. Or this is how it was supposed to be. Sincerely, I can't tell, I don't know, but people lost lives. People lost lives. Very sad one.
Guys, I don't know if what to say, but it's very sad. Very, 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 very sad. People who were just hustling with their life, trying to look for a way how to survive. You know, Uganda is not easy. Too many graduates, and there is no job. And then somebody finds a job in the rubbish pit. Is it a rubbish pile? I don't know. For collecting scrap. And then you lose your life. Very sad. And these people, they don't have any company they are working for. They would say the company maybe would compensate for them. They have nothing. As a matter of fact, majority of them, nobody knows them apart from the locals here. You remember, uh, 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 someone sees opportunity in the rubbish pit. You can get scrap, you can get plastics, you can get whatever you can get, and you say, let me go and start working there. And then all of a sudden, this disaster happens. Very sad. Too bad. So, so right now we are at Kitezi where you see that pile of rubbish that is behind me it collapsed down and so many people have died it's a very very sad one here so sad many people have lost their lives and uh, so traders are trying to to dig out people's remains as you can look down here there was a house here you can see bricks you can see bricks over there there were houses here so all these places were having houses so the rubbish fell down on houses and people suffocated inside and majority of them died majority of them had to die it's a very very sad one people are mourning they are still trying to to look for people and that's why those graders are there they are still looking for more bodies they are trying to get more dead bodies but then uh, we don't know. So all this area here was having houses. You can, if you look over there, there is that house that also. Uh, I don't know. It's, I think it's the grader that uh, put it down. Also over here, some houses were brought in down. If you look around there, you will see bricks. That alone shows you that there were houses here that were brought down or that the rubbish covered and people suffocated inside and died. It's a sad one. Very, very sad. Sad, sad. So it, it didn't only collapse here, even the other side. You see those kids up? Mm. Those ones, they were not there. He just brought them up today. It was down as this one. Like here? Mm. Here was the garden. Someone is garden. Someone is garden. Maize, what, what? All. All that area where you see those grass mm. was not there. Those were houses? Near houses. 
So the house is empty. Here yeah, they were just digging sweet potato, maize, beans, like it. other part is remaining is there. Yeah. Hey. This one only brought them, this cultus. Mm, they were, they were up from that side. Cultus, they brought them from the other side of the field. Next to the Which, flat. Near flat. Which is from here to the other side. It's four and, like 500 meters. I told reach the other side. This one's paused. I've not seen them come out. They have yeah, paused. they have paused. They have all paused. It seems there is something. Those people, they went outside. These ones managed to escape. <laughs> so when you see those guys in white, they have got somebody. And uh, according to him, it could be his relatives. So those those guys are who are in white are the one who are going to carry the body. I see people somewhere up there. Mm. Yeah, we are going to, uh, yeah, you see, they are carrying. You see, they are carrying people, and uh, it may not be one person. So they have they have taken they are taking some dead bodies already. And it could be this gentleman's relative. Mm. And according to him, he said there are four. Four people already. Yeah, four people. Mm. Kenya jenu ango tia 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 matoke Kenya. Kenya ni tia nyanya, ni tia maragwe, ni pini. Kamu durian, kamu durian, kamu durian lagi. So Kenya mana jisaman jungkoi? Kenya mana jemaah jiwa kasar siro? Amagi nama tu. Mana jadi malat mana? So they are saying arah the, the, around this area, there was banana plantation, beans, kadeduma, and maize, and that uh, they could get some people there because some of them, they might have come direct from the other side. Those two people who were working on the rubbish. Yeah. Mm. 